my name is Jessie Lynch. I'm a fourth year chemical engineering undergraduate at Penn State, and today I'm going to talk about the environmental impact from natural gas. I'm going to first briefly talk about what natural gas is. Next, I will talk about the environmental advantages and disadvantages of natural gas. And finally, I will talk about the future of natural gas and its effects on the environment. Now let's get started. To begin this discussion, it is important to know a little background of what natural gas is and where it comes from. Natural gas is colorless, shapeless, and odorless in its pure form. If you have ever smelled natural gas, it has a rotten egg-like smell that was added to detect leaks. Natural gas consists of 70 to 90% methane and 0 to 20% ethane, propane, and butane, along with very little of other components. It can either come from under the surface of the earth, where organic materials break down with high pressures and temperatures. This process takes a very long time, but when natural gas is made, it has a lower density than oil and will rise up to the surface of the earth. It will either get stuck under the surface of the earth and later can be extracted, or it will leak through the surface and leak into our atmosphere. The second way to get natural gas is from landfills. Most of the natural gas that is in the earth has not even been found yet. With the change to help the environment, there has been a movement to use more natural gas instead of oil and coal. Now, it is important to talk about the environmental advantages and disadvantages when using natural gas. One of the main advantages when using natural gas is that it is a cleaner source of energy when compared to oil and coal. As you can see in this table, natural gas produces less carbon dioxide along with other dangerous components that lead to greenhouse gases. Natural gas can be stored more efficiently and safely than other fossil fuels. It is also more environmentally friendly when burned as shown in this slide. Natural gas admits 60 to 90% less smog producing pollutants, especially when cars make the switch to natural gas. Natural gas also prevents smoke, ash, and other smells when burned. There are also a few disadvantages when using natural gas. Although it does produce less greenhouse gases, it is still producing them. There is also a chance that if there is a natural gas leak within either a power plant or the surface alone, it will produce more greenhouse gases. This is because natural gas is made up of mostly methane, and methane has the ability to trap heat almost 21 times more effectively than carbon dioxide alone. According to the Energy Information Administration, although methane emissions only account for 1.1% of the total U.S. greenhouse gases emitted, they account for 8.5% of greenhouse gas emissions based on global warming potential. Natural gas currently has the highest percent of total U.S. methane emissions. It also is a non-renewable resource and very toxic if inhaled, along with being flammable with an odorless smell, which can make it highly dangerous if it leaks. To determine the future of natural gas depends mainly on the future of climate change, the environment, and the availability of natural gas. It is important to consider that using natural gas instead of coal or oil does not fix the problem, but only delays it. If faced with the choice of shutting down either a typical coal plant or a typical gas plant with a small methane leak, there would be only a short-term climate benefit of shutting down the coal plant instead of the natural gas plant. No matter what the percent of methane leakage is, there would most likely have to be a requirement to cut down the greenhouse gases in the future, even more due to the climate change and the changing from coal plant to natural gas plants will not be enough. Methods for capturing and storing these admitted gases will have to be necessary. The U.S. electrical systems are now choosing to shut down their old ineffective coal plants and moving towards the natural gas dominated electricity system. This is the biggest tra transformation in half a century. It is predicted that in the next 30 to 50 years, the percent of natural gas will increase to more than 50% and the renewable energy will almost double while the coal and nuclear energy drops sufficiently. Although this is the case, the change can clearly not rely solely on the increase in natural gas. A natural gas dominated electrical system would continue to heat up the planet. This is seen in the previous slide as an environmental disadvantage. This is because we cannot just convert all of our coal plants to natural gas plants because the amount of CO2 wouldn't decrease that much. 
In 2012, in a traditional coal power plant, there was 74% coal and 24% natural gas, and it produced almost 2,000 million metric tons of CO2. But as predicted in 2015, if we move to a plant that produced that, that used 40% coal and 60% natural gas, it would only produce 3% less CO2 emissions. By prioritizing renew renewable energy and energy efficiency today, global warming emissions can dramatically reduce. Improving improved energy efficiency would reduce pro projected U.S. electrical demands in 2015 by more than 30 percent. Our future does show an increase in natural gas and reduction of coal short term, but eventually renewable energy will be the main source of energy with less natural gas being used. To wrap it all up, natural gas has had a major impact on the environment and always will as long as it's being used and relied on. 